Okay, folks, that's, there you have it, that's Jackie Sharkey, and you're the reason, like I mentioned beforehand, that was a song written by Jackie herself, and to tell us a little bit more about that, we do have Jackie on the telephone. Hello, Jackie, and welcome. Hi, Willie, how are you doing? Thanks for having me. Doing great, I tell you, it's great to talk to you. I uh, know, it's been, it, we've been, I think we've been planning it for, for a wee while, but unfortunately it didn't work out the last time, I'm sorry about that, unfortunately. Uh, my grandmother dying, it, it, it was bad timing, but um, it was great to be on now and having a chat with you eventually. That's it, these things, that's the way they go, they take turns, they sometimes catch us by surprise, but it's great to, to see you still going strong and planning a good busy year ahead in, in the music. Well, hopefully, hopefully. Um, it was, it's great to get the new album out, so hopefully that might, uh, I must get some work done on that now. I'm getting some videos done at the moment, so... Um, we've just done one and <laughs> hopefully get the others done in the next couple of weeks. It's good to get the, the videos, you know, because people like to, to watch some of the shows. It's good to get that kind of exposure for it, you know, but there's a bit of work to be done, you know. There is, and it's, as they say, everything is television now and videos and it's, as I say, it's kind of the, the era is the television show now, isn't it? Well, I think people, people like to have, um, I mean, you know, people obviously listen to a lot of radio, and I think probably more so, but it's nice, you know, a couple of nights a week to see some some music on TV again, because it's been a while, I think, since videos were shown, the, the days of those programs that used to show videos years ago, you know, it's, it's nice to see it back again, and there's a new channel starting now with uh, Phil Mac on, um, I think it's 2... two Two six one or something like that, you know. So, um, that's right. Country TV, so that's twenty four hours of country music. God, there'll be no escaping it. That's uh, it. But it, no, it's great to get. I'm very grateful to all the TV shows, um, <coughs> uh, Ireland West and Susan and Malachy and uh, Hot Country and all these shows that, that play our videos because otherwise you wouldn't be heard or seen. You know, it's it's nice to have it and that's radio, right. of course. I mean, that's the way it, what it's all about to get your music out there. And thanks very much. I know you play a lot of them. I'm very grateful for that. It's, uh, it's great to, to hear your music out there, you know? No, it's great. As I say, I am a big fan of your music. But it kind of takes me back there. The, the years ago, there was a program called Country Music USA with, um, yes, with Shay yeah, Healy. Yes, I have a big recollection of that, yeah. And it's, it's funny, actually. I, that's where I first heard a lady that I think you sound a lot like, and that's uh, Mary Chapin Carpenter. Oh, well, oh, thank you. I'll take that, Willie. Uh, she, she, she would be a big influence now on, on my uh, my style, probably, and my my songwriting as well. She's just a wonderful songwriter, and I just I couldn't. She, she's actually my favourite songwriter, I have to say. And it's funny because I came from a, a very different background. I I started playing music, and I started. Uh, playing rock music and I was in a rock and pop band for a long time and I didn't really, I suppose I, I, I did always go back and sit playing Dolly Parton or somebody on my acoustic guitar but uh, you know in the in the bedroom but I would go and see rock bands and I played rock music and really Mary Chapin Carpenter was one of the the first kind of American country singer-songwriters that I became aware of. One of the guys in the band, the bass player, had said to me you know you should check out this this lady and maybe introduce some of those songs into our rock and pop program and, and gradually kind of I moved towards kind of more Americana country you know but I still I'm still probably I, I have a folk influence as well I've, I'm very mixed up when it comes to music I I, I like uh, playing different different types of music I think it makes it interesting as well I'm not going to be uh you know, uh, rapping or anything <laughs> at any of the con <laughs> concerts, but <laughs> within reason, there's a wee bit of a crossover there, which uh, which uh, I like anyway. It's it's uh, it's yeah. not easy. Well, you you kind of you've all the bases covered, I suppose. It's good to have an experience of the different types. Well, it's it's funny because I've always kind of played different types. I mean, I, I did musical theatre for quite a long time, and I, I've sung a lot of jazz and things like that but you have to kind of pick <laughs> somewhere to, to to lie and I think oh, when I started writing again and I, I started listening to the songs that I was writing I think I did veer more towards certainly Americana country music so that's I think where I've laid my hat for now and uh, 
we'll see how it goes, you know. Uh, Shine's yeah. probably more uh, country, especially in my songwriting, I think. Like that, you're the reason there. I kind of probably more of a country ballad. I, I don't normally write like that, but it's nice to get something different out there. So I hope people like it. Yeah, I tell you, your stuff, it does get requested on here, and we do, we get the emails oh, in, so, so... Oh, that's great. I'm very grateful to everybody who, who requests my music, and, and, and to you, of course, for, for playing it. Really, you're, you're great. I know I'll try and tune in whenever I can. Uh, it's not that easy when you're running around, but... Uh, uh, I know. It's so great, and uh, I, I love listening to your, your chats with people, and... Uh, uh, Amory O'Reardon uh, uh, is somebody who uh, I've heard on your show and um, I think I was on a show with her in Galway a few years ago, she's a wonderful singer um, That's right, she, yeah she, yeah, she was on recently with me, well, she she lives near enough to me here in Mill Street We're kind of Oh does she, yeah, no I heard her on that and I was listening to the show that night um, Yeah so she's, she's a really wonderful singer, wonderful singer Yeah, she has her own kind of a style I suppose traditional but I'm sure you would meet up on variety shows throughout the year and concerts. Oh yeah, I mean, there's a there's a place for all types of music, and I, I hope that continues. You know, because it's not that easy when you know when you're trying to get out there playing. And uh, I try to to um, organise my own concerts here and there. I'm doing a wee acoustic tour with. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of um, Jody Gallagher. He's from Donegal. He's a songwriter. He's written quite quite a lot of songs for Conal Gallen and I think Lisa McHugh's recorded one of the songs recently. And uh, so, so we do a, a, an acoustic concert with a, a Scottish fella called Dean Smith, and uh, we just play our own songs with acoustic guitars one after the other. And it, it's it's nice to do something different like that as well. And it's different with like, the band and everything. Uh, yeah, it's, so it's, it's a nice, nice to do different different concerts like that. And you can play whatever you like. <laughs> So it's, it's nice. So um, yeah, it's, and it's good to get spots and meetings. You know, as well, concerts about the country. You can get get to different places. I've been all over the place last year. It was great, and uh, hopefully that will continue. And we'll get to places that um, I've not been yet. You know, it's, I always get people contacting me saying, "When are you playing here or there?" So hopefully, we might get a wee, a wee bit of movement this year and, and get further afield. Yeah, w it would be really nice to see you get to Cork as well, if it was possible. Oh, I'd love to. I've only I've only been down in Cork once, would you believe? That's uh, terrible. And it's gorgeous, it's so gorgeous. I was down in my, um, <coughs> was it? I can't remember where I was now. Bandon, Bandon. Oh, yeah. Uh, doing doing a, a CD launch for a lady down there, and um, uh, Katrina. Oh, okay. and, uh, Was you, that, you, was, um... Do you know Katrina? I do, and uh, Michael Buckley, I do very well. Uh, was that with Janie Kirk? Was that recently? No, it was. No. It was actually. Oh God, I'm trying to think. I think it was October, and uh, it was uh, Trevor Lockery was on it, and um, oh. Joe Mack and Lisa Stanley were over, and uh, Michael Collins' band was playing, and that's right. There was yeah. different Bernie Heaney, and uh, oh God, I can't even remember now. There was yeah, so many. It was a huge. Uh, it was a really successful night, and it was great to get down eventually to Cork to play. So, hopefully, hopefully, I'll get down again. Yeah, um, I look forward to that. See, see a wee bit of it. I'd like to, you know, even take a few days off and see the can sail and all these lovely places you've yeah, you, heard about. You'll have to One do end of the country to the other. It's a long way. You have to do the Wild Atlantic Way, as they say, from top <laughs> to bottom. I have to get get um. Uh, doing that at some point as well. Yeah. There's so much to do, so little time. That's it. But you um, you have toured with the Phil Mac live show as well, haven't you? Yeah, that's been really, that's been wonderful because we, uh, Phil has, um, has done shows and he's continuing to do shows in different parts of the UK and he's doing some abroad this year I think as well. But uh, I've been to Wales with them and uh, few different parts of England and we're going to Nottingham I think this year as well, I haven't been there yet so uh, it's just, they're, they're wonderful shows and it's great to to get to spend a whole weekend where you're meeting people all the time and and of course with all the other artists in the show and uh, it's normally the same kind of uh, crew that's been doing it the last um, wee while, it's Elamina Begley and Caitlin uh, Trevor Lockery and the lovely sisters from England called the Haley Sisters. They're just wonderful singers. You should really, you should check them out. They're, you, you would love them. They're so, they have that beautiful 
sibling harmonies going on, you know, and they're two beautiful singers and really lovely girls and they're normally on the show and sometimes Crystal Swing and kind of mixes it up a little but it's good to, to hang out with everyone and it's really good fun. Uh, yeah, beautiful good. venues, really good fun. Uh, so I've met loads of people because you always have all these other singers that are, do a lot of work over there and maybe live there, like Sean Wilson and Tony Mack do a lot of stuff over there and Bill Conlon. Um, uh, so that's how I've met Charlie Lansborough, you know, but it's great to to be able to work with these, these people and we have such yeah, good fun. So you, really can't, good fun. you can't go wrong with names like that. <laughs> no, it's really, really good fun and they're all just so lovely and great to work with and it, we, we just all have a laugh and we all have a wee a wee session get the instruments out again after the show's finished and everything and lots of people stay around this music during the day and yeah it's good so it'd be nice to go somewhere sunny hopefully this year yeah somewhere with a wee bit of sunshine it's very wild up here how's your weather down there it's fairly rough down here as well yeah it's been a bad week for the, the ice and the roads and it yeah. schools we, we're quite lucky actually here we're quite lucky with the, the sea. We don't get much snow or anything. Just just the, the storms. That's right. Uh, the sea. They actually, you don't get much ice when there's s salt in the air. I suppose. <laughs> no, and and you've been so uh, unfortunate down there as well with the flooding. We haven't had anything really like that either. Um, yeah. So it's awful. I was looking at some some photographs. It was awful. Um, but hopefully it's like God's wrath, isn't it? I was laughing the other night saying, God, all these storms, one after the other. Um, so hopefully we might, might live at sunshine and keep praying for sunshine. Um, so hopefully it'll get a wee bit better. Yeah, please God, now we can get the, um, the worst of it behind us and, and look forward to a bit of summer. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, but we're coming, the, spring. the evenings will be getting longer now and we'll, it'll all be good. But hopefully, the, hopefully. That's it. No, there's a, a message in there from um, Mary Conway. From oh, Mary's a lot. Oh, I know yeah. Mary. Mary's lovely. She wants to great wish supporter of music, promoter of music. Mary. She is indeed. She wants to wish you all the best with your album and to say hi from herself. So uh, thanks very much, Mary. Thank you. Yeah, she is a fabulous support to all the band, to all the DJs. She keeps us updated there on Trevor's stuff, and yeah, she's. She keeps the stations updated, as to say. Oh, she, no, she's great. She's actually all the posts on Facebook. It keeps you informed as to what's going on. Mary's on the ball. Yeah. On the ball, and she's just after getting a, a place in, in college to, to study her photography and everything. So congratulations to her. She's all delighted. Yes. No better woman. Fair play to you. Yeah, I remember messaging her recently with a, a question on editing. I was trying to edit something with a picture, and it was Mary got me out of bother. <laughs> So she's fair. Oh, she's always there. She's great. Yeah, she's great. But the um, the song writing, does it have to you do a bit every day, or is it just something that comes to you? Well, no, I don't really. I I would. I, I wrote a lot when I was younger, when I was a teenager, and um, I stopped for years. I, I ended up playing in a between the musical theatre and the 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 band. It, we were always playing cover songs really and you know we, we used to take songs like the Murloc Shore and you know some of more traditional songs and kind of rock them up a wee bit you know and, and we used to right. have great fun with that but it got me out of songwriting for years and it was only in 2007 I think it was I went to Nashville and uh, I I spent a week there with Ian Smith a guy that I write with sometimes now and uh, we, we just we had a, a wonderful week, uh, and a lyricist from Dublin, uh, Enda Cullen, and I'd met a, a fella called Michael Kelsch, she'd come over to do a tour here, uh, so he invited me to all these things, and we ended up at these sessions and um, in the Bluebird and uh, in the houses of, of some of the songwriters that have written songs for all these, you know, the Dixie Chicks and the Judds and all these, and it got me back into, I just, I was nearly writing a song on the way home, you know, on the plane, just yeah. to, and that got me, me started again, so, but I don't write every day, unfortunately, I can't, I have a, I have a business, that I'm, and I still have, unfortunately, well, fortunately, I shouldn't say that, but, um, I know, it's me, just, I have it, <laughs> but, uh, the priorities. I really would like to concentrate on the music full time, but I just can't at the moment, so I just write whenever something comes into my head, and, 
you know, the, the songs on my last album, um, a couple of them were written weeks before the album was finished. So I just, I'd been thinking a lot about um, losing, you know, some of my family and, and friends over the years. And, and for some reason, it was very strange. I was thinking about it a lot more so than normal and I started writing lyrics for I've Been Missing You and the album was nearly finished at that stage and I just happened to come across a, a piece of music that I'd written with Ian Smith two years ago uh, and I'd forgotten about it and I found it on my iPad and I just clicked and I thought what's that you know and I listened to the music so I just started writing lyrics down and, and it was on the album a few days later so but then I, I've only written one song since then and that was October so it's just been a busy few months. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll get into writing more now uh, in yeah, the next few weeks. It will come back around to you again, but you had a nice wave of it there the last time. So that, <laughs> that'll keep yeah, it. Yeah, I had a few songs that'll keep me going for a while. And yeah, yeah it, it, it's, it's, I, I have to kind of feel something. I, I've only sat down really to write a song and said, right, I'm going to write a song. What am I going to write about? I've only done that a couple of times. And uh, mostly it's just... It, either a tune or a wee melody comes to you or maybe some, some lyrics or something. That's the way I really work. I, I'm not somebody that... Maybe maybe I could do it, but I think it's quite hard to sit down when you're not in the, in the frame of mind and just write something. But And I'm quite happy with the songs that I've... Um, I like to put a few of my own songs on each CD and there's some more... Uh, quite a lot of original songs on the last album. Um, I've recorded an, uh, two by Shuni Crancy. Um, you know, Shuni's, um, I music, do. Yeah, um, Take Me to Paris, beautiful song. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a wonderful song, and, and it, it's been so, so good to me, and, uh, I really, it's still been played all over the place, I'm so grateful. Shuni had actually wanted to write something for me, so I sat down with him one night and told him some stories about that trip to the States and some time I spent in Paris, and, there's a wee story, but he kind of embellished it somewhat, you know, and nice. uh, he th threw, uh, I actually hired a, a red Mustang in, in Atlanta and right, so put it into this wee, <laughs> we have to he actually put this wee romantic story, you know, uh, and that's how it came out, so it was, it was really nice. So it's quite personal uh, yeah, to me so as well, and I always smile and I sing it, you know, uh, and in Chicago is the same. Uh, the second song that I've recorded of his, he it, it's written in exactly the same way. Yeah. Um, right, so he'll, he'll take the few facts and work around them. Fair play. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I threw some some lines and lyrics and a wee story, and Shinny came up with the song. So it's lovely to have those, and yeah. I have another song written by Jody and Ian. So there are quite a lot of uh, original songs on it, but the, and a few um, few cover songs. That Maybe people would know. I've recorded Kite Fergus eventually, um, which is at the end of the CD, but it's not really recorded in a in a traditional way. It, I, I think it kind of fits in with the album, but it's a song that I've been doing for years. So I thought I might as well record it. And I'm really pleased with the way it's come out. So um, I've Danny Sheeran doing backing vocals, and he just is such a, an incredible singer it just adds to it all the musicians add to it that's what it's all about for me the, the, none of my CDs would be what they are only for the musicians that, that played and that Manus Lunny who produced my second um, CD it's just that's that's what it's all about all these these people you know at the end of the day songs are just songs but it's what people do with them yeah, it's what people really can bring to them isn't it it's experience that they they all bring their, well, own, their own twist I, to, to it. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I, have, I, I wrote one of um, one of my own songs, um, "Let the Sun Shine on Me." Uh, I got this um, fiddle player from Nashville called Rob Hajakis. He's done all Garth Brooks albums, and he's oh, he's played, I think, Neil Diamond and all sorts of people, Shania Twain. And, um, but he, I just left him to it, you know, just sent him the song, and as it was recorded, and he just put this lovely fiddle into it and it just uh, it, I just get so excited about hearing all the musicians parts and everything and that's yeah. you know as I say they wouldn't be what what they are the, the songs without without these really talented musicians most of them are from here Ray McLaughlin and Tony Fitzgibbon he plays with uh, Robert Bazell he's playing on some of the tracks and uh, Jonathan Owens um, Ted Ponsonby they're they're um, 
flute so many of them I can't even remember but uh, yeah, uh, just, I, they're just wonderful musicians and I, I, I have a lovely uh, guitar player from Nashville also Tim Galloway he uh, does a lot of uh, the backstage you know how they play for somebody who's playing out front and he doesn't get any of the credit but he's play, playing behind for all these big stars and everything he's a very good as well so that's great I'm to have blessed to have them blessed to have them so. yeah exactly now one of my favourite songs of yours there is um, it's not a latest release of yours but it's a song called Remember oh yeah yeah oh well thank you that's that's one that I co-wrote with um, Ian Smith with wasn't Ian it? Smith and, and Enda that actually was written in um, well, we started in Nashville it was funny I had been to Ellis Island and I was very taken with um, the place and the whole, what everyone went through to get there and try and get this life in America. And I I went to, in to see this audio-visual thing and I heard this woman's voice and she did a Donegal accent, which sounded quite elderly. And she was talking about how hard it was, that she would never forget how hard it was to leave her that day. She was talking about her. And then I realised she was talking about her mother and she'd had to leave here what was years ago and she'd never seen her mother again and her mother had never seen her grandchildren and you know the days before flights and it was obviously not easy to and I just thought it was so sad and we were sitting in Nashville and Dan McGuinness was one night and Ian and I had just come off stage and I said you know I want to write a song <laughs> I've been inspired by being in Nashville and I said uh, and I told them the story and uh so we wrote the lyrics on beer mats in um, Dan McGuinness's pub, and uh, right. the next day we had the, the lyrics put together. And then I think about a year later, Ian and I wrote the music for it, and uh, I only recorded it uh, last year with Manus Lunny, uh, and I did a video for it there, Marissa D'Amato, she's a country singer from Malta. She, um, she's a wonderful friend of mine I uh, got to know through the film act shows and she filmed the video for me and uh, there was some footage from uh, Shane O'Donnell uh, of my launch and we just put it together and uh, just give it a wee bit of a lift it's, uh, it's a very I find it quite emotional to sing the song because I still feel so yeah, strongly meaning. about that you yeah. know you could almost feel the people in the room there in yeah, well, Ellis Island. Have you ever been to Ellis Island? No, I have. I've never been. No, I have. Uh, my only connection to America is in Ohio. I have a lot of family mm. in Ohio. But yeah, I, I actually don't think any of our family went to America. I think there was some talk of my great grandfather having gone and came, come straight back again, and I couldn't possibly repeat the story on air. Right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, the, all these strains of a story about him going and coming straight back, but um, but I don't think we ever had anyone who really went apart from um, went to a few to Canada. But uh, I just thought yeah. there's so many people affected all over the world by by that. People who had to go away from their families and. I said the first thing that came to my mind when I heard Remember was um, I could really see that on Irish festivals in America. Do you know, kind of... Well, it would be lovely. <laughs> telling the story. It would be lovely. Yeah, it's the immigration kind of aspect to it. And, do you know, there's, there's a big festival in Cleveland every summer, the Irish Cultural Festival, and it was on at the time when the song was released. And I remember thinking, yeah, I could really see that on the stage over there, you know. Oh, it would be lovely. Well, you never know. Uh, I must actually look into doing more uh, away because I haven't been very good about having my music um, promoted anywhere else, you know, particularly Canada and parts of America. It would be nice to get out there to, to do something at some stage. Uh, but yeah, no, I think that song probably affects a lot of people from different places because people went from Russia, from different parts of Europe, from, from not just from here, and... Uh, you know, just it's such a um, an atmospheric place. Going to Ellis Island, so it has all this history, and it just it just stayed in my head. So, um, no, I'm very very proud of that song. So, thanks very much. Hopefully, someday I'll be singing it somewhere like that. Yeah, exactly. I look forward to that. Keep us updated, as they say. But um, if people want to get your albums and get in touch with you, is there a website or is it Facebook? Well, I have a website. It's uh, it's 
www.jackysharky.com and uh, J-A-C-Q-U-I um, but um, and I I think I think certainly some of the CDs should be in um, some record shops the rare things that they are these days it's uh, it's not easy to we, we don't have most of our record shops are closed in Donegal there are only a few left but um, it's the same, if there are record shops yeah, it's, it's the same, same there is it it's the same yeah everything is yeah. iTunes now or online oh yeah well, uh, well all my albums are online on, on iTunes as well and Amazon and all these other Spotify's and Raps I get, I get mixed up between them but uh, yeah, so they, they should be on all of them uh, so I'm, I'm going to be promoting the, the new album now shortly so hopefully it's, it's also for sale through my website and I think it's on Amazon and things like that as well but um, uh, hopefully uh, it'll uh, start to grow, grow some legs <laughs> I, I hope uh, unfortunately with, with a few things personal things that had happened in the last few weeks I didn't get a chance to the videos are all delayed and you know promotion uh, of yeah, it and everything but, but these things happen what can you do you yeah. know I think everything uh, yes, everything you, will go, go the way it's going to anyway you know that's the the reality of how things can turn but as I say we're delighted to see that you're you have a lot up and coming and what you have done we're, we're big fans of so we oh, thank you so much we just want to say thanks for taking all the time out to chat with us well, it's been a pleasure. Thanks very much for having me, and I just want to say hello to everybody, and thanks very much for supporting my music. And any time, I'd love to to come back on and chat to you again. Thanks well, very much. Always welcome. I'm going to play um, play so with a song called "Let the Sun Shine on Me." Uh, thanks very much, Shirley. Another one of your own. It is. It is. That's the one that the Rob Jacobs is uh, is playing on from Nashville. It's uh, yeah. It's kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a song that was written last minute as well, but, but that's the way things go. It's no. a wee bit different, I think. <laughs> that's a sub uh, I hope everyone likes it. Thanks very much, Willie. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay.